Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, two, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Just two. two queens, one blonde. Two queens, you better spark blonde. it up with two queens and a blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Just two. Two queens, one blonde. Two. You better spark it up with two, two queens and a blonde. blonde. No, I can't even speak no messages at this hour, but. <laughs> well, this is prime booty call hour, so I would expect your phone to blow up. Well, we must be doing it while I'm asleep, because I'll be <laughs> not <down> right now. <laughs> Crazy. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to the podcast. I'm Zamora Love. And I'm Ebony Delight Samoa. And baby, today we are in the dark, okay? Thank God for the flash on the phone, because, honey, it is a storm out there. And you would just see eyes and a smile. <laughs> when I tell you, I think it's the hurricane that's, uh, that was going down, down in Texas. I think she done made her way up to Illinois. I'm sure did. Because Bay B, yesterday it was raining boots on my drive-in. Thank God it didn't rain here. But then this morning it was raining like crazy. I even think we got a little tornado this morning. It was like a mini tornado out in the burbs. I was watching it like all unfold and I was just like, should I move away from the window? <laughs> but I was captivated. That was your ancestor saying, girl, you okay. in danger, girl. It's a girl, you's in danger, okay? <laughs> um, Ebony, how is she? I'm doing good. I'm excited. I'm going to be down in Texas next week. You're going to, te- not, not you're going to Hurricane City. I am. I got to see what happened down there. What part of Texas? Um, Houston, practically. It's going to be Katie, but, you know, practically Houston. All right. So if you are in Houston, Texas, y'all make sure you shout out Ebony. Look out for my girl while she down there. I'm going to be hot, so. Oh, bitch. It's going to be a hot fucking mess. Uh, what are you going down there for? Family reunion. Yes. Come yes. on. Family reunion. When's the last time you had a family reunion? Um, A couple years ago. Okay. Yes. But we haven't had like a big, big one. Like it's normally up here. Mm. This is the first time that I'm making it to one that would actually have to travel to so are you flying driving training we're driving okay we love a good drive i love a road trip it's gonna be a road trip with some of my aunties and my cousin we're gonna be in a big old van oh and my aunties Lord. and uncles we're gonna be driving down when do you leave wednesday morning at like 10 in the morning okay perfect um do you need some edibles or anything <gasps> Ooh, that would be great yeah. because I'm going to be with family and I was just wondering, actually, I was going to look up. I'm like, is it legal in Texas? <laughs> you know, I actually don't know if it's legal in Texas, but I mean, you can always vape. I don't know if you oh, should, though. No, my family. See, I'm, I'm with the church folk. Oh, so we'll get you some candies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you some candies. We'll get you some Rice Krispie treats. We'll get you all those good things. Yeah. And you know where we're going to get them from? Where? Sway? From Sway, baby. You better believe it. Yes. Shout out to our friends over there at Sway. If you are looking for any of your uh, marijuana needs, you can get you some at Sway Dispensary. Located in North Halstead. North Kate. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Located. Oh, no. That is what it's called now. North Halstead. I, yep. was, I was politically correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to make sure. How, I, how dare I use the legit street name? Okay, just so you know, we had to just check. Go, I had to call it by its government guru. Um, speaking of the government, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, some <laughs> events have happened. Girl, we are definitely going to get into that. Uh, but before we get into anything else, we need to go into another new segment. By the way, what do you guys think about the segment songs? Are you living for them? Comment below. Let us know. Ebony, what do you think? I like them. They're fun. And I like the little slides. Perfect. So far, what's your favorite uh, one? My favorite one is, what you smoking? What What you smoking on? Hey, okay. (laughs) That is a good one. That is a good one. Okay. um, This one, though, this is going to be probably my favorite segment because anybody knows, and, and I'm sorry, anybody that knows me knows that I love a good circle back. Hold up, baby, wait a minute. Hold on. We've got to circle back. Hold up, baby, wait a minute. Hold on. Because, wait, there's more to be said. Now, hold up, baby, wait a minute. Hold on. Girl, I'm not through. Hold up, baby, wait a minute. Hold on. We've got to circle back to this one. Are we doing laps now? Oh, baby, we're doing laps. Okay. Okay. Circle back time. What are we circling back to? We have to circle back to Megan the Stallion's album. Okay. Yes. Uh, Last week, I can't remember off the top of my dome. Oh, perfect. Bitch. Okay. I better have it pulled up and ready. 
Um, last week I said what my favorite songs on the album were. Yes. Um, I've listened to the album a couple more times again. Did a couple more join? Uh, here's the thing. The album has no replay value to me. Mm. I was listening to the album out of forcing myself to give it another chance. But there was no song that was calling me back. And with that being said, I'm going to have to uh, take off Moody Girl. <laughs> oh, that it lost the song. And um, yeah, we're just going to leave it at his, where them girls at, Boa and Worthy. But I'm going to let you know, even those four songs, none of them even call me for, like, you know, a callback. I don't want to listen to them. It d- Nothing says... Ooh, let me put this on. Like, if they play when my phone's on shuffle, I bop to it. But I'm not going out of my way to look up the song. And speaking of, I feel like me and Zach Campbell are the same person and I live. So we're supposed to be friends eventually. Hopefully we'll be friends. Because we always have the same mindset when it comes to this music industry and, like, the music that's out. We're kind of, like, always on the same wavelength with what we think is good and what we don't really like. And... Not even that, even like just some of our feedback and critiques. And one of the things that he said in his last video where he was talking about Megan's album is that it's time for Megan the Music to evolve. And I think that's just what it is. Yeah, It's time to evolve, girl. You've evolved your look. You've gone through all this drama. You've like this whole era was supposed to be the evolution. Basically, you were shedding your skin. You were a snake coming into your new skin. But your music didn't evolve. No, it didn't. I, was, I mean, except she had she did have some fun in, to- in uh, Tokyo. I'll give her that. Right. You get that flavor on there a little bit. But it's like even like the songs that she does experiment with, she doesn't keep them around. Like she'll just do it, and it, like her, for example, mm, her yeah. was a massive success. It was a fucking hit. She never had a sound like that before. Why the fuck wouldn't you do something like that on this album? Right. Instead, you went and gave us exactly what we've already heard from. Uh, what was that one album? There wasn't an album. Her very first moment that blew her up, the mixtape. Oh, it, it. I feel yeah. like. I feel like this is that, and Zach Campbell said it, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, you girlies need to do your research, and you need to study up some more. Uh, you need to study Nicki Minaj. You need to study Beyonce, Lady Gaga. Rihanna you need to study the girls who have had a long career in the industry and have showed different sides of themselves in different eras with their music their music is always evolving it's always changing and you can't really take a song off of an album and put it on another album of theirs because let's just say single ladies for example if you took single ladies off of I Am Sasha Fierce. You couldn't put single ladies on B-Day. No. You couldn't put single ladies on Formation. No. No. Or not Formation. The album's not called Formation. Y'all know what I'm saying. You couldn't put B-Day on Cowboy Carter. Or not B-Day. That's the album. Child, you, you get my fucking point. It's a lot of songs that Beyonce, Gaga, Nicki, Rihanna, Missy. The greats, Missy, literally, these girls have done where you can't just take the song and put it on the album. Bitch, you can take each and every one of Megan Thee Stallion's songs from this album and put them on any of her other albums. And it would sound like it was supposed to be on that album because all of her music sounds the same. I don't know about Boa. Boa, Boa is that girl. Yeah. Boa is the best song on the album. Yeah. Like, I will say that by far. Wah, 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 mm-hmm. wah, wah, wah. It's growing on me more and more. Bitch, your time <laughs> up. Why is you not clocking out? <laughs> Doing shit for TikTok or some shit like that. Yeah, However, girl, I need really her to hip-hop. know. I need her to know. Bitch. How motherfucking dare you open your mouth to say doing shit for TikTok? <laughs> When you are the motherfucking TikTok queen, bitch, your ass is always on a goddamn TikTok doing your little whatever the fuck. I live for her Sailor Moon right now. But my point was, girl, how you gonna try to shade a bitch, talk about some doing shit for TikTok, bitch, in every... Your music is for TikTok, sweetie. (laughs) 
Like, and I say this with love. Maybe you didn't know that. But I'm going to get off of this. I just had to circle back to it because, girl, after I had saw that Zach Campbell video, I said, okay, so I know I'm not wrong. Okay. The music needs to evolve. Yeah. I was actually agreeing that when I when I heard it again afterwards. I was like, he's right. I was like, does he know what she's talking about? Mm-hmm. I was like, Baby, okay. I know some good music, and I love good music. And I will never, ever, ever shit on a good album. If it's good, it's good. Even if I don't like the bitch, I'll say, this is good. But... This is just everything that we've heard before. So, yeah. But we're going to get off of that. Yes. Y'all know. I just had to circle we circled back. back and now we're moving on. <laughs> Baby, I got to smoke after that, okay? And we're still in the damn dark. If these lights don't come back on, it's hot in here. We have a fan, but it's not working. <laughs> Baby, I'm like, because normally the situation, I would have the AC on in my room. My bedroom door is open. The fans that are sitting in front of us would be just blowing the cool air towards us. And we'd just be, you know. Getting our jobs done. Now we're sitting here looking like some two chocolate glazed donuts. <laughs> Cause it's fucking hot. In here glistening. In here just glistening, girl. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I'm but I was gonna get into a cute little outfit for y'all. But I was like, bitch, first of all, the power's out. I'm not gonna look for an outfit in the dark. <laughs> I come in here with it backwards. Okay. I was like, so let's just start there. Then I was like, second of all, bitch, it's hot. I'm not finna sit here in a full ass moment. Y'all finna get this fucking 27 piece and a motherfucking t shirt and call it a day, bitch. Give me real hood. Good in the okay. dark. That's what we got. Anyway, Joe, it's time for what you're smoking on. What you smoking? What you smoking on? What you smoking? Tell me what you smoking on. What you smoking? What you smoking on? What you smoking? Damn. What you smoking on? Ooh, what are you smoking on? Girl, today we are smoking on a good old. I, I don't, child, I don't even know if y'all can see it, but I'm gonna put it up. Well, let me hold things here. Smoking on a good old. Oh, thank you, Ebony, for the light. <laughs> Delight giving you the light. Okay, smoking <laughs> on a good old pal into Capri Roll. Uh, it's a pack of two. I got to be honest with y'all. I don't remember what this strain is because when I opened it up, I ripped off the name. So I do apologize, but I know that I smoked one of them already and we're going to smoke the other one now. This will put us to bed. It is 1221 a.m. So we're going to wrap this up. It's not going to be a super long podcast. I got to work in the morning. I actually think I got to be there at like nine in the morning, too. I love how we say that and it's always like three minutes shorter than normal. <laughs> Bitch, that ain't nothing but the truth right there. Yes. All right. She's yummy. She is an indica, so you are probably going to get sleepy and want to get in the couch. Oh, yay. Because I want to get in the bed. Okay, she's going to I can find you. it down there because I know it's going to be dark down there, too. Oh, shit. Your power is out, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> if Damn. it's not, I'm going to be rolling. I'm like, girl, lights on down here. Okay, and I'm coming down. Sleepover. Anyway. Um, question of the day. What's the question of the day? I've got questions. Question. Do you got the answer? It's time for question of the day. Question of the day. Is it ever acceptable to just show up to someone's house? Oh, hey, I'm in the area. Just wanted to stop by. <laughs> oh, if you want to see what my door look like. <laughs> Ebony, if somebody just stops by your house, you're not letting them in? Uh, this is going to be a rare occasion. I'm going to peek through that people. I usually don't answer the door when it's knocking because I got too many walking real throughers that just randomly check doors. I've already been burned by that. So, yeah, unless I know your company coming or you, and especially if you try to knock like the police. Not like I got nothing to hide, but... That's disrespectful. So I don't, I don't respond to such things. Very that. How about you? Um, I have exceptions. I have exceptions to the rule. Um, if you have a key to my house, you can stop by. Um, if you're my mom, you can stop by. However, here's how I feel about the parents just stopping by the house. You can't just come in. You got to like call me and be like, hey, I'm outside. Oh, sorry. You're trying to pass that. Call me and be like, hey, I'm outside. So that way I can be like, all Do right, quick let scan. me get my shit together real quick. And yeah. then, you know, uh, but you can't just walk in. 
Unless I'm not responding, then of course come check on me. Make sure I'm Gucci. Okay, on that aspect, if you give me a warning before you're at my door, and I don't mean that you're at the curb coming to the door. Like you say, Hey, I'm in town, I'm about to swing through, is that cool? Absolutely not. I might be more courtesy to it. Nope. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. And I'm going to tell you why it's one of my biggest pet peeves. Because you bitches knew you was booking the trip to come in town anyway. And why wouldn't you tell me when you booked the trip to come to town that you were coming to town? Instead, you thought I'm going to message you. Hey, I'm in town. Would love to see you. No, bitch. I got a schedule. I got a life. And I know that sounds fucked up. But damn it. Respect me. (laughs) <laughs> See, but I, I have friends that travel, and sometimes if they're just cruising through and have extra layover time that they normally wouldn't have, then I understand That's a different story. them not being able to. That's a completely me. different story. Yes. I'm talking about the person who knew that they was oh. coming in town, it actively just, chose not to let you know they was coming in town until either the day before or the day of. Yeah, I would have been like, <laughs> you better let me know. And then when they try to act like they're going to come over, what? Girl, my house ain't seeing no guests right now. <laughs> How do you like it? Are you feeling the high already? Sorry, I felt a cough spike coming, but it, it went. I like it. It's, yeah, it's really smooth. I was surprised that it took me a third, third, third um, puff on it to get me the cough in. Um, Old Pal, I've come to find is some really good fucking weed. They're a really good brand. I have enjoyed every Old Pal pre-roll that I've smoked. They almost made me remind me of Badu. Girl, you know I still got a pack of that Badu in my room. Yeah. I'm not smoking that until my birthday, though. Girl. Oh, and I'm so excited, too. I can't wait. You know what else I got in my room? What? So one of my friends, uh, I'm not going to say his name, <laughs> just because what he did was very illegal. And y'all should not do this, but I'm not going to stop you. Weed in Michigan is so cheap. Really? Girl. Well, I forgot. Illinois is greedy. Girl. My friend went to Michigan and got weed and sent me the menu of options. They had, and this is what I got. So in my room right now, I have this two ounces of weed. Do you know how much an ounce is? Um, eight of them make a cup. So you know that little, you know, bitch, not cooking ounces <laughs> or fluid ounces. <laughs> I can't stand you. You know that little jar that you normally get your weed in? That's an eighth. Oh. Oh. And that's 3.5. Okay. Okay. So you have to get eight of those to equal one, right? If it's an eighth. Of an ounce. Correct. Can I see your calculator real quick? Sorry, I'm having a slow bitch moment. I just want to make sure that my numbers are correct because what I am about to say, you hoes are going to judge me because <laughs> I know half you hoes are stoners. Um, perfect. Okay, my numbers were right. I just wanted to make sure. So what you normally get is an eighth. That's 3.5, right? Right. One ounce uh, that's 3.5 grams. Oh, okay. okay. That's what an eighth is. Yeah. One ounce is 28 grams. Oh. Oh, you're good then. You're Gucci. Two of those, 28 grams. Two of them, two ounces for $80. What? Bitch. I need to visit my cousin in Michigan. Girl, when I tell you, so one of my other friends, Sasha, friend of the pod, y'all have seen her. Hopefully we'll get her in an episode this season. Maybe not. Maybe she'll uh, take a break from the pod and come on season four. I don't know. But I was talking to her and she was like, it might be bullshit though, because I guess she did it too. Mm. Or she smoked some of it from when that happened. And she was like, she didn't get high. I smoked some of it and we were going to smoke it today, but the power went out and I didn't feel like rolling the blunt in the dark. So we just did the pre-roll. So we'll probably use it next episode. I was decently high off of it. It's a hybrid. I prefer a good indica, but yeah, I'm not mad about it. Hey, all right. Anyway, sorry. We somehow ended up back in what you're smoking on, and we're completely on question of the day. Or are we done with question of the day? We were done with question of the day, I believe. Okay, good. Um, Shall we move on to 
with some shit. <laughs> That's a new segment. <laughs> yes. This is probably going to be the remainder of the podcast, honestly. Uh, but let's slide over into word on the street. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. What well, word on the street is? Word on the street. Grr. All right. So <laughs> what I heard was okay. It's just so much to discuss, but I think that we should start. Light-hearted. lighthearted and then go into the more ooey uh let's start with normani's album thank Did you, you for letting me know it existed okay because <laughs> let's talk about it her team has failed her they did. I mean, I understand that she got a new team now and she's thankful for that team. And within the year, that team was able to get an album out. Her previous team, she was with them forever and we couldn't get an album. So her team now is clearly doing great. However, where is the advertising? Where are the pop up performances? Where are the showing up to major events that are going on just to get her name out there? So that way we can see that Normani is doing something and an album is out. A lot of people didn't know. Mm hmm. I barely knew. The only reason why I knew is because I follow the girl, but I didn't listen to the album until today. I love it. I love it. This album, simply put, is for people who like fucking, smoking, and unwinding. If you like to unwind, relax, smoke some, chill, and fuck, you will love this album. I thought the album was okay. The first <laughs> time I did the first time I listened to it, I didn't really care for it. There was like two songs that popped out to me. And I was like, maybe I'm just not in the mood to hear it right now. So I had to listen to it again. And then a couple more songs popped out to me. And then the third time I listened to it, this last time, okay, a couple more tracks jumped on me. So I said, okay, this album ain't that bad. But it's not really my type. Well, not really my type. I don't know. It was something about her voice to me on this album that kind of almost blended the songs all together a little bit. And I understand because everyone has their own sound. But I felt it almost, I don't know. It was like hard to separate some of the stuff from each other. But then she had some great beats that came in that pulled me out. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I can understand where you can say where you get that, that vibe to, mm. to relax because she can zone you. And it's mm. not a bad zone to be in. I was just like, At I was all. just like, I was like, oh my gosh, this song's still going? Like, mm-hmm. still. Literally, that's like the longest song on the album to me. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, I was like, are we still on a still on this song? And I'm like, by the time it's in, that it's over. And I'm like, oh, goodness. I don't know why. I don't know why that song does that to me. Um, Unfortunately, we don't have Wi Fi right now because there's no fucking power so i can't pull up what i need to pull up but can you pull up the track list that's what i thought you were about to ask for and i was like i can pull that up yeah i'm like because i definitely i listened to it this morning while it was storming raining outside and i was smoking a blunt sitting in the bathroom the bathroom is my happy place um and i love smoking there in the mornings even if i'm not using the bathroom i just like being in the bathroom and so I was in a great situation to listen to this album. Starting it off with Big Boy, Bitch. Great Wait, up. does the check marks mean you added it? That means I liked it. It's on my like list. Okay. Bitch. That was a great opener to the album, okay? Yeah, it was. I'm gagged that you didn't like Still, but it will grow on you. Still? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Let me tell you something right now. She won me and still, I can't remember exactly what the what the line is verbatim, but she won me over and still when she had the audacity to say something around the lines of, I ain't see your message because I'm too busy leaving my, living my life. I relate to that like a motherfucker. People be so mad at me because I don't respond to people's messages. Um. And I'm like, girl, I don't be on my phone all the time like this new generation is. I go on my phone. I'll do a posting for social media if I need to. And I will literally scroll a couple times. And that's it. 
Indeed. I'm not sitting here on social media all the time. I'm not sitting here on my phone all the time. So I truly did not see your message. I'm a busy bitch. I got shit to do. Or I'm relaxing and I don't want to be on my phone because literally my phone is work. Right. So when that line came up in the song, whatever the line is exactly, I was like, oh, this song is for me. <laughs> um, All yours. I love that song too. It was so nasty, but not nasty, but so like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it better be all yours, girl. What? Lights on, very cute. Yes. Take my time. Such a cute little boppy. Like you know, that was the. Oh, I have a. I have a. Um, I have a bone to pick. Why does Apple Music have the album classified as a pop album? I think this really? is very it's, much it's so an R and B album. Yeah. With maybe one or two pop songs on it. Right. They're they're just going off the singles. I wonder if can you see. On here, what it's classified as? Um, What's that do? No, let me just see if I just click it. No, no, oh, 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 what is she doing? Well, she done took us to Normani in general. Well, I guess on Spotify you can't see what genre. Yeah, but on Apple it tells you. Uh, Insomnia is my favorite song on the album. It Um, grew on me. Like I was like the like I've heard it when it was on the radio because that was one of her singles, wasn't it? I don't know. I believe it was, and I heard it before, and I was just like, "What is that even about?" And I don't think I gave it a real listen. And then it finally, like literally, this last listen through, and I was like, "I might have to put this one on repeat." Bitch, insomnia is everything. It the way is. that she sings insomnia, and then in the background, she's doing that insomnia but the way she sings it is just so fucking. Ooh, yeah. ooh. sorry, I'm cussing a lot today for some reason. I don't know why. I just kind of wish she had a remix. Ooh, of, not that was the Lord. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm sorry, God. Dang. Anyway, see how you see how how she cleaned that up. I, I cleaned it up right away. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, candy paint. Love it. That was uh, leaked, or did she release that earlier? I can't remember. But that's that. Was that. I'm gonna tick, 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 but I'm bumping. I'm a bit, tick, 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 bump, 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 bitch. I was like, okay, wait, that's cute. Um, <laughs> grip. You didn't like Kung Fu Grip? I did like Kung Fu Grip a little bit, but not enough to really make me want to put it on repeat. Okay, yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, 159, I also liked that one too. Distance, I love that song, and that song was written for me. Um, I had to come to a point in my life where I had to realize that I'm done begging for attention. I'm done not even just begging for the attention, but fighting for the attention. I'm done trying to compete where bitches don't compare. Right. And I would just much rather, you know, take a backseat and love you from a distance. Because you have to remember, you is kind. I is special. You is beautiful. Is important. And I is beautiful. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Me, my sister. Okay. <laughs> my dear bitch, bye. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, 100% love the, oh, sorry, can you unlock? Oh. 100% love that song because I felt like that was 100% me. Like, I love you down. Love you more than life itself, baby, but I'm going to have to love you from a distance, okay? Okay, I did like Little Secrets, okay? Little Secrets is fire. That thing, I said, baby, what is this song? Cause like, every time I heard it, I was not having the phone next to me, so I was like, what is this track? And I said, I'd remember it's right before well, that one with Cardi B, and I was like, that song I didn't care too much for. I, or maybe I think I just, I liked it when it came out, and I'm just over it now. Yeah, it, would, it came out oh, like <laughs> years, years ago. ago. Yeah. <laughs> If she's going to go back years ago, she should have brought motivation, motivation back okay. on that. I literally yes. was like, oh, if Wild Sounds in here, I wonder if motivation is. I it was like, not. do a little remix or something to that. That okay. would be cute. I don't know. It was a it was a great album for me personally. Um, but like I said, it fits the mood of of smoking and fucking so, and chilling. If those are the three moods that you're trying to be in, this is a great album for that. If you're not in those moods, then maybe you're not going to like it. I don't know. Or if you don't like R&B music. I love R&B music. Also, didn't Brandy work on a lot of that with her? It, I you, I felt her influence because I said some of those runs reminded me of Brandy, Brandy runs. runs. I said and those I remember, are Brandy runs. I remember 
that when all the controversy about why is this album taking so long, it was because Brandy was helping her with a lot of the songs. And she was like, Brandy is like a big part of the album. And so we were wondering if we were going to get a feature, but we didn't get a feature. We just got a lot of good music that sounded like something Brandy would have sang. <laughs> uh, but great album. Definitely check it out. Give it a couple listens. Support another up and coming black star because Normani is a fucking star. Yes. And speaking of Brandy, make sure you check out the Disney's Descendants, The Rise of Red. Miss Brandy's in there As re- the reprising her role mm-hmm. of Cinderella from the Cinderella that she did. And her prince is there and they sing together and it's so pretty. It's like the chemistry has never is never left. Out? Yeah, it's out now on Disney+. Plus. Oh, and you saw it? So good. It's the only one I've ever seen of the Descendants, but now i got to watch the rest of them. Because that one... Is it the whole situation like with them or is it just like a snippet? Could I find this on YouTube and just watch the snippet? Th- they're scattered throughout and Brandy's character is pretty awesome. I gotta, get, I gotta give it to her because... Is it a movie or a show? It's a movie. Okay. It's a, it's a it's boom. It's just a bap. Even though they all connect, this is the latest one. It's I don't know. I gotta see what the other two give, but I gotta see what this one does. But it's... I, I loved it and I was like, dang it, I had to tell Princess Booty Shorts. I said, girl, I know you love these songs and this kind of stuff. And I said, and I, I usually tease her about it. But this one, I was like, girl. I was like, they had me when I saw Brandy. I said, you know what, I'll check it out. And I saw China. <coughs> I was like, I gotta check y'all out. And then I got into it and I said, oh, not y'all sound like Rihanna up in here. Not Rihanna. Uh, shout out to Princess. Uh, Princess brought my dog Queenie in. Because I... Uh, would have got blown away in a storm. Okay, I was like, oh, I had no idea it was going to storm today. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? She would have been a wet dog. Girl, well, I mean, she has her dog house, so she would have been fine, but she would have been pissed at me that she had to be out there that whole time. <laughs> she would have been like, my name is Cujo. Okay. You have me out here in the rain. Literally, she probably would have cussed me out and not talked to me for a couple of days. Until she was hungry. That part. Oh, <laughs> literally. Um... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if y'all heard that on the mic, hopefully not. Uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Did you watch uh, the last episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season Nine? La 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 Pluza. Yes, the musical. Or not musical. No, no, no. no. The this was La La Perusa. La La Perusa. Yes. Girl, thoughts. What was got me thinking? Why would she go up against Angeria? Because I realized what it was. Gottmik was thinking that she was the baddest bitch in the room. And she thought, (laughs) I'm going to go against the other baddest bitch in the room. However, she failed to realize that she was not Roxy Andrews. (laughs) And she wasn't getting to pick the song. (laughs) So it's like, you picked this bitch and you should have known out of anybody on that thing, who was going to pick in vogue? Yes. Angie. Especially to try to eat you up. Girl. <laughs> yeah, she did. However, let's talk about it. I've come to realize that I'm not really a huge fan of Angie's lip sync style. I love like how she is comedy a little bit, but she makes this face. <laughs> it is just so unappealing to me. <laughs> Ah, is it the way she's patting her kitty? I don't know what it is, but it's like, like when she lip syncs, <laughs> she lip syncs with her teeth. <laughs> no shade to Angie, because I love Angie. <coughs> Angie is everything. It's just, I've noticed that she lip syncs like with her teeth. You're good. It's a very interesting way that she lip syncs. And I'm just, oh, okay. Um... <sighs> I will personally say I feel like Plastic Tiara beat Vanjie in the lip sync. I was on that same page because I said, really? I said, y'all just don't want her to get no wins. I felt very bad for her. I was like, damn, because she definitely beat that girl. And Vanjie looked kind of a mess in that. Vanjie looked a <laughs> fucking mess. And I live for Vanjie. But girl, what the <laughs> fuck, girl? It was a mess. However, the ass was right, bitch. Her yes. ass looked real good when she stripped down into that little moment. Yes. Um, and then that moment when they both just stood at the stage like, 
it, it, yes i said come on girl and then girl. walked away i yeah. was like okay bitch i think that's probably why vanji won because you could 100 percent tell that vanji was waiting on plastic to move like mm-hmm. vanji had clocked the plastic was about to stand there and so vanji was like oh bitch my ass is out too i can stand there too look Nope. <laughs> and then as soon as Plastique walked, she said, bet, we yeah. walk it, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's probably why she won. Um, sorry, I was trying to pass that. Did you want to hear Oh, no, name? no. Okay. Um, <sighs> but yes, and then Roxy Nina Andrew. versus Chantel. Oh, oh, that's right. Nina versus Chantel. Chantel ate her up. <laughs> <laughs> it was unfair. <laughs> The it way she tell, hey, I live for her. I said, girl, hit her with that old school. Here's, I was just going to say, here's the thing. Most of these new girls don't really appreciate the art form of drag. They just like what drag has become. Boom, boom, cannon. And the stunts and the shenanigans and the dancing and the, uh, all of that. And don't get me wrong. I live for it, too. Who doesn't live for that? However, drag is so much more than that. And Chanel is one of the best lip syncers on that show. Not just that season, but But like the the series. One of the best. I would easily put her in the top 10 of lip syncers out of all of the queens to be on that show. Now, I understand where she may have thought, Okay, let me pick a non-dancer. So that way we're both kind of like, you know, even playing field. Right. However, I will say, that's where she fucked up. She should have wanted to be a Georges. Because if Nina would have went against one of the dancers giving comedy and giving it good, <clears throat> because Nina looked good in the outfit. She did, for was once. Cute. For it once. was cute. It was cute. It was very Utica, very uh, Crystal Method, very like, I love the style. Because with the pants, the bell bottom gave me Utica. Yes with the the flowers and the the crazy shapes and all that it gave me crystal so, method yeah. come to find out one of crystal method's designer is the one who made, made it, yep. that so i was like okay it makes sense the bitch looked good though so it was like bitch you could have beat any one of those girls any one of those dancers if you would have picked one of them you were not going to beat chanel no period because chanel did not need to dance and you did not need to dance so you probably should have picked somebody who needed to dance yep so you could try to get that different angle Mm -hmm. on them but on a level playing field honey that was not the broadway stage you were not ready you were the you were the uh, understudy in that baby baby and i was just living because chanel gives you some good old drag bitch i was like come on bitch i wish that they put their vimos up there so we could tip them right yeah, because I was living. I was like, oh, bitch, they need some money. Oh, Throw, oh, take my dollars, bitch. You look good. All you got to do is bring your purse to her. What? All you got to do is bring your purse to Chanel. You ain't right. <laughs> you are not right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. You it's ain't left easy. neither. <laughs> <laughs> Three lefts make a right. Now okay. what? <laughs> um, RuPaul. Or not RuPaul. <laughs> Roxy Andrews. Yes. And George's kidding <laughs> first of all it was me literally crying while i was watching the fucking lip sync literally holding my breath while i was watching the lip sync literally just being <sighs> the entire time roxy devoured that it was so fucking captivating i was just like wow and then I just felt extremely just like, bitch, this is why I do drag. Literally, because if a lot of you don't know, I'll tell you now. Roxy Andrews is literally the reason why I started doing drag. I watched season five of RuPaul's Drag Race. That was the first season of Drag Race I ever watched. Thick and juicy. Uh Uh-huh. And I immediately fell in love with her. I was like, this bitch is gorgeous. This is literally like, what the fuck? This was, I was blown. Like, what? And I was like, damn, I want to do that. Like. I could do that. And I just knew that I could look like Roxy. I was like, oh, I could look cunt like that. I could do it. Once I, I started doing drag, I looked a fool. <laughs> I need her hair. <clears throat> you know, because how is she doing all those flicks and then it just goes right back to. Whew. It's human. 
it's beautiful. And I was like, girl, I was mm. like, how you're here doing that? You just whip it all over human. the place and then you whip up and it goes right back to where it's supposed to. Because it's human. Synthetic wigs don't do that. No, they don't. Yeah. A good old human wig, you can whip that bitch however and she will go right back, falling right into place. Um, Here's the thing, though. If I could say one thing, and I love Roxy. <laughs> and I love that this is her aesthetic. But, bitch, if you come with that runway one more time looking like you going to brunch on the motherfucking Real Housewives of RuPaul's Drag Race, (laughs) I think I'm going to throw my television. (laughs) Because, bitch, Roxy has drag. That bitch looks nasty. However, I will say what she wore to lip sync, that last lip sync in, that little black and red number. Yes. Oh, that was cunt. Yeah. But, like, these little satin moments, don't get me wrong, I live for them. They are a sexy little walk around. But, girl, come on now. And I'm not even trying to trick you but tell you at all. Because I can't read the doll. You are absolutely right. I'm not trying to read the doll. But she made that outfit work for her, I'll tell you. But but, but, She's always going to make an outfit work for her. That's never the question. I just, as such a fan of hers and a fan of what she brings... I want her every time that she's on that stage because it's only a couple times in the season. Like literally, it's m- mainly for most seasons twelve to thirteen episodes. Right. So you only really get to see her on there twelve to thirteen times. So it's like, girl, every time, just please look just like, ah. and you do. But like, I want the costumes to be, you know, right. show girl. Not I'm going to brunch with the girls. <laughs> You can do that on your Instagram because I live for that. And and I, that's very my aesthetic, too. Like, I wear that when it's tip around time. But, yeah. Anyway, it's no shade. I live for her. The lip sync was nasty. It was very nasty. And that's why she's Roxy Andrews. That's all I have to say. Uh, her versus Chanel. Now, Let's just skip to that one. Yes. That was a nail biter, except for the fact that Chanel didn't get up to move. If Chanel would have actually taken off that damn coat and moved, she would have won. Yeah, she would have got her. I literally said, as like the scene was setting up, I said, oh, I see what production did here. They're going to take away Roxy's running, her running streak of not losing a lip sync. However, they were respectful enough to do it. By making it be Chanel. Yes. And not one of these new girls. And then also giving a boost to Chanel. Absolutely. I was now, like, so I love this. And I was like, so if Chanel wins this, I am not mad at all. Now, her coat thing at the end that Chanel did, I got to tell her that was everything. I live for that kind of moment. When the twirling did, when with the When she did the twirling with the coat, I said, oh, see, I said, girl, but you still should just let that fly off to the edge when you were done with it and just keep going. But she should have did it earlier in the Way song, earlier, maybe. Yes. Um, but it was Roxy's from the moment the song started. Oh yeah. Roxy had the energy of it. She knew what she was doing. She just ran with it. Yeah. But that was one of the best lip syncs we've seen on that show too. Yes. I lived. I lived. Yes. Now I need to see her versus Silky. <laughs> Cause they both got the record right now. Let's, First you know. of all, let me say something. And I love Silky. The big ganache. I do. Y'all know I do. But if you think that Silky would beat Roxy in a lip sync, I think it'd be a very good match, depending on the song. I do think that it would be a very good match. I think it would be entertaining. I think they would both turn it, and I think they would both twirl. However, I just personally don't see Roxy losing a lip sync, period. (laughs) I don't see it. And it has not happened. So I think the facts are backing that Roxy is not going to lose a lip sync to Silky. We'll see. Because then she has to go up against Gottmik and Gottmik's going to get her in the finale. Girl. <laughs> Sorry. I. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we're going to skip one of the topics because this is running way longer than I wanted it to. Yeah, we got five. Um. I'm trying to decide what angle I want to take this at. And I think the first thing that is very important to say is that life is precious. 
and you should always value life and even if you don't like someone you should always value their life um not everything is funny and y'all need to grow the fuck up but i pose the question was it bad aim or was it catch up I feel it was ketchup only because it was a one story building that he was on. Mm -hmm. And if the special services from day one did any kind of rookie look, they look for all those points Mm -hmm. and there should have been no way that one of their agents wasn't on that roof already. And for that person to have as much time as a bystander say to set up, get up there, be made alert that they were there and they not do anything. And then the fact that when they had him bent over, they let him pop his head back up and throw up his fist without the person being neutralized yet. I'm like, that's your target. You keep their head down. I don't care how much. And plus, he said, wait, wait, wait wait so he can do the pose and i'm like what i feel it's tv shenanigans it's for ratings well i just want to bring it to the light even though we're not going into that segment but i just want to bring it to the light that it appears in the video he was shot in his right ear I'm wondering where the building was based off of where he was located on the stage because at the time that the shot started he was facing this way and so If he was facing this way and the shots were coming from this way, that way, that way, this would be the ear that got shot. I'm trying to figure out how the ear that was behind him, not facing the audience, is the one that had blood on it. Right. That's what... I'm just trying to figure out. I don't, I'm not saying it didn't happen. We're not saying that here. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to figure out where was the building in comparison to where he was and how did the ear that was not facing his audience get injured But the ear that was facing the audience is fine. Just a question. And then my second question is why did the agent or security tell the paparazzi or photo people to go to a certain location right before it happened? Like, because they were behind him. And then he told them to move over to the side so they can get the shot. And then literally... Not even 30 seconds later, they were already with their cameras ready to take shots. Well, I'm going to say this. I am very happy that Donald Trump did not get shot and die. Because I just have a feeling that would have started a civil war in America. Mm Mm-hmm. A literal all out war. But I honestly think the government would whoop him down real quick this time. It's not like oh back in the days. I don't think it would I think it would have happened, but I think it would have got snuffed out real quick. I think you're underestimating the people of the United States of America. Mm. I think that you have to realize that half of the people of the United States of America are fed the fuck up with the government already. 
literally with how expensive everything is, with how we are being treated in general, with how things have been going. People are fed up with the government. So you have those same people that are fed up with the government who idolize this man as their saving grace from the government that they're fed up with. And y'all just killed this motherfucker. Oh, all hell would break loose. But especially if they found out it was one of their own. I don't think they would care. Oh, yeah, because they'd be just enraged. They would already have their conspiracy and then what they think it occurred. I don't think they would even look into who did it. The fact that it happened would be the problem. And everybody would catch smoke. Yeah. So I'm glad it didn't happen. I feel for the four families that did have to deal. There's that the one guy did not make it. Um, and then there's a couple other that are still in ICU. Prayers to their family that they make it through it. Um, unfortunately, there were some, you know, casualties of this incident. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And I hope that um, those families not necessarily find peace, but just find some type of calm in the storm. I guess that is find peace. Because, you know, losing someone, especially in such like a unexpected horrific way i'm pretty sure they were all so excited to be there so excited for the moment and nobody thought oh hey this is the last time we're going to see this person so i just hope that they can hold on to the good memories and the good times and yeah i heard that one of the men who died died because he jumped in front of the bullet to protect his family yeah because they were there there's about five family members there he had yeah yeah so you know he loved them and then some say also that that's the reason why somebody didn't get hit is because he ended up taking that one that would have probably got him because I guess he was in the line of well I don't believe that because I I was like he did not jump in front of Trump so he did not save the bullet from Trump the person missed if there was even a bullet for Trump I think that Clearly, the person was shot. I'm not saying that's a conspiracy. That's not what I'm questioning at all. So what I feel is that whoever was shooting was specifically aiming at the audience, which is actually a bigger problem. But we're not going to go down that rabbit hole. Right. That's a... Yeah. But speaking of people who have we lost, we've lost... Um, well, we didn't lose Trump. Trump is still uh, around. No, but the guy. Oh, okay. Yes. But we also lost uh, Shannon Doherty. Um, Charmed. From Charmed or 90210. Or if you go all the way back to Little House on the Prairie, I had no idea she was one of the little girls from Little House on the Prairie. I didn't either. Yeah, I was like, whoa, okay. But yeah, unfortunately, she had succumbed to her breast cancer that she's been battling for so long. Damn. Um, but she had a really interesting podcast, not to anything, but she, like, as she was getting to her in days, her own podcast, her own podcast. Yes. And she was like talking about this whole process because she knows that she, she knew it was coming and she's like, the hardest thing was trying to tell her mom and trying to get her mom ready because she's like, I know my mom doesn't want me to go before her. She's like, but I don't really have a choice in it. She's like. She's like, but I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, she like broke my heart. I'm like, I don't understand how you're listening to that. And I would not be able to listen to that at all. Oh, it just broke my heart. But she, but she's from a place where she's like, this is something that realistically, if you know, you have the time, you know, you're going to go. She's like, I had like two weeks. She's like, I know. She's like, so all I can try to do is prepare. And she's like, and let me try to help those that are going through it. And I was like, Shannon, everyone try to make you out to be this monster. And I was like. And here you are up here trying to help people go through the grievance of you before you're even gone. And I was like, oh, my gosh, broke my heart. But also no shade so. to speak on the, the dead because I hate to do that. But let's also not take away you just sitting here saying everybody tried to make her out to be a monster. No, she was definitely a bitch <laughs> towards people. So let's not sit here and act <laughs> like because when she was young and healthy and being a fucking bitch and ruined 
well, not ruined, but attempted to ruin one of my favorite shows by being a bitch to the cast. Let's not sit here and make it seem like she was an angel. What she did was she changed her ways. And she I can did. accept that, but we're not going to wipe her plate clean like the bitch didn't do what she did. We could just turn the cheek. That's what we shall do. That's right. And we did. So, but yes. And then also, I know this one, shout out to my mom. We used to love working out to his workouts in his little short shorts. Oh, Mr. Richard Simmons passed on. I heard. 76, they found him in his house and he was doing. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, not swimming to the oldies. I love those videos. I used to be swimming to the oldies. Damn. Uh, I never did his videos. Uh, my grandmother used to have Tybo. So Billy Blanks. Yeah. Down, baby. I was down. Yes. <laughs> See, and, but the only thing I wanted, I wanted him to come out with a short line because I always wanted some of those short shorts. Girl, I'm sure you wanted what was in the short shorts, not the short shorts. Not that for a curly man. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Richard. Girl, a fool. You're, you were fun. You could be a friend, but I did not see you like that at all. <laughs> a fool. Anyway, we got to go because oh, this yeah. episode is running and it's 106 in the morning. And I need to go to sleep. You and I have to. work in the morning. And we ain't got no power. And it's about to be a hot, miserable sleep. Mm. Yeah. And I'm considering going and sleeping in my car, no shade. I should have got one of those cold blankets that I see all the time on TikTok. Wait, there's blankets that are cold? Yes, like they naturally stay like 30 degrees cooler. What? Oh, my phone is over there. I was supposed to grab it and look up. I'll send it to I you. Will look at it. Please Cause, do. Because I was like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I do like it chilly. And I like, love it chilly. And nobody's like, they're like, I don't understand. How is it always cold? And they're like, they, you don't do anything to it. It just supposedly stays that way. I'm like, science. Love it. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, let's get off of this stuff because I don't want my phone to die while we have no power and we are definitely using the camera and the light. Ooh. So she's probably about to die. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We definitely uh, discussed quite a few things. We circled back over to Meg's album, which, you know, it is what it is. We're going to stop harping over that. Uh, we definitely got high. You're high up? Yeah. On some good shit? Yeah, yeah. That was that good old old pal in the Capri roll that we got from Sway. Uh, we did answer the question of the day. Is it ever acceptable to just sh show up to someone's house? I was going to say pop up, but just show up to someone's house. And I think that the consensus is no. Don't get shot. <laughs> don't, don't waste your steps. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we discussed Normandy's album. RuPaul's Drag Race, Roxy's Complete Domination, and um, the attempted assassination on Donald Trump. And the passing of Shannon and... Absolutely. And little, and little Richard, Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you live. <laughs> With that being said... Thank you so much for watching this week's episode or listening to this week's episode. Uh, the power is still not on, so hopefully the visual is giving. We tried to set a couple candles to help with the light, but that might have made it worse. I don't know. Um, I'm tired. Welcome, new subscribers. I see that our subscriptions are growing. Welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Yes, please like the video comment on the video even if it's just emojis it helps us it helps us to grow if you enjoy our content someone else could enjoy this content don't keep them from it if you made it this far put a uh, candle emoji in the comments that's a damn shame because <laughs> we ain't got no lights <laughs> we need a light to come back out okay only your like will do it subscribe yes please subscribe we'll like and comment um uh, candle emoji yeah all right it's time to get out of here i'm ready to take this little nasty 27 piece off and scratch my head and y'all cannot see my hair underneath this because it's a fool and of course my dumb ass left my clippers at lips so i gotta figure something oh my god
There's no power. I couldn't cut my hair anyway. You got some scissors. I'm going to have to wear a do-rag to work tomorrow. Hey. Grr. With that being said, it's a wrap. Good Love night. y'all so much. We're out. Oh. <laughs> Remember to always lead with love and that one blunt a day keeps the bullshit away. And Ebony looked really pretty today. So make sure y'all comment that below too. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.